let's try to discuss or we'll discuss, you know, not let, not let's try, but we'll discuss <laughs> the relationship between the chest muscle and the serratus muscle. So uh, we know that there are like nine, okay? Just like, uh, I'm gonna show you that here. So uh, there is like nine of these muscles. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine muscles in here. Uh, and the chest, chest is what? At the fifth, again, remember that fifth rib there? So one, so, and it's starting from the top rib, okay? So we don't have to take the, any attention about that. It's the one at the bottom that's been missing, okay? So that, which means that's the first rib right here, okay? So the first rib, second rib, third rib, now that's a puzzle cartilage, fourth rib, and the fifth rib. And the fifth rib is where the chest muscle ends, okay? So if I want to put a chest muscle inside of this, let's say I'm just going to keep the arm bone here and the collarbone. Again, just like I said, the collarbone is a little, little on an angle. It's situated on an angle, okay, not straight. And here's the spine of the scapula that comes in. Yeah, it's it's a little. Um, let's see, I want to put that here, and the spine of the scapula will be there. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, if you want to put the chest muscle inside of this, um, and would that go a little? And you pass it. Yes. Okay, great. I want to put the chest muscle in again, taking the clavicular. This is the half again, or above that a little bit that the chest would uh, attach to. Okay. We would start always start with the clavicular portion. Okay. So here's the clavicular portion right there. Um, now the fifth rib. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Right. This is where the the sternal portion or the middle portion of the chest would end. It would be like this. Okay. Here's a nipple, by the way. I'll just let you know the nipple kind of stayed there. It attaches to the to the middle, right? And then we have the small portion, very small portion. That's like the downward part, which is coming up and attaching by this point. So how many muscles we are looking at, right? How many serratus muscles are actually visible? Uh, four to five, okay? A fourth, a fifth one is rarely visible, you know, but mostly four, okay? One, two, three, and four muscles, okay? So <laughs> all of these are uh, covered by uh, the chest one, the majorly the chest one. Uh, and by the way, even this back portion is all covered up with the lat muscles, okay? So the lat, lat muscles would come in and then um, it would attach like this, by the way, you know? So eat just a little portion, you know, just a little portion, just like very, very small muscles is what you'll be uh, seeing on the body, okay? And uh, <laughs> that's why you don't want to like take like, too much tension about like, oh, you know, have to be like super accurate with the with the origin of it, but it's, it's good to understand, okay? All right. Any doubts with the, within this or... So the point that we have done, any uh, anything to add? Oh, I haven't doubt. Uh, the yeah. serratus muscle is it attaching to rib or something like uh, ribs. backside? Yes. It's at uh, ribs. Um, so it, is it there any from there? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, okay. No, no. I was asking like, is it uh, helpful for moving scap scapula or something like that? Um, yes, it is. It is definitely um a scapular moment muscle. Okay, because uh. Okay. It is there for it is existing because of that. Okay, it is existing because uh, to keep the scapula smoothly to move, you know, up and down and slide off. Just but like, it does not attach to scapula. It does, you know, just like I said. It um, does. Yes, you can see. Oh, okay, you mentioned because. Can you it from the back angle? Oh, from Please. the back. Yeah. Um, I have this back angle. I can give you a quick demo for this one. Um. So, so here's the scapula. Okay, here's the rib cage, and we're gonna be drawing this uh, in the middle. So, uh, just like I said, it would start off here, kind of radiating. Okay. Literally, uh, at this stage, you don't, you won't be seeing like individual. You wouldn't be seeing like individual muscles there, but all you'd be just looking at this kind of curves. Yeah, this view is perfect. Thanks, man. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, no worries. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one more, all right? Nine. M maybe I'm just like making it like too giant, right? It's not as giant as this. Until this point, I would say. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, this is how it's going to look like. Okay. So, sandwich, sand, uh, the serrator is a sandwich between the scapula and the rib cage. Okay. And uh, this is the big gap, you know, this, uh, uh, there's a big gap between the scapula and the rib cage, and it is filled with these muscles. Okay. So, uh, while that is opening, I just want to show you that gap, like how much gap is between the scapula and the rib cage. Okay. okay. See how big the gap is? Yeah, there we go. Look at the gap there. <clears throat> See how, how big the gap is? So all of this gap is covered by this serratus muscle. Okay. So if I want to annotate, like the muscles are literally like thicker muscles, you know, so they're gonna be going like this, you see? They're, they're coming from the ribs, okay? They're literally just following the ribs, okay? Literally just following the rhythm of the ribs, starting from this like point, basically, uh, these points here, okay, on the ribs and going out like that. And these are very thick muscles at the back and they're just uh, coming out in the front and then they're getting thinner, okay? So it, it, it comes out like, like a very thick muscle and then comes out very pointy in the front, okay, like this. And then the scapula kind of rests on top of this. The annotation. Okay, but the scapula is not attached to these muscles. It does, it, it stays on top, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, it, it literally just, just it, uh, rests it, on top. Okay. It slides o over it, right? In the scapula. It. Yeah, it slides over it, but it, it, it stays on top. So it's like a, like a cushion, you know, <laughs> for the scapula to be in there. No. So uh, imagine your, uh, imagine the seat that you're sitting in right now. So that's, uh, uh, you're the scapula and the seat is like a, like the muscle, okay? So you can slide over that, right? <laughs> because you're, you're not attached to, but you're like resting on top of it. Okay, so okay, so no, no tendons are attached to scapula, right? Yeah. Uh, no, tendon, tendons are there, but it, it's, hmm. The muscles are also stretching, by the way. Sliding doesn't mean it's like completely open or otherwise the scapula would flung open, you know, just like <laughs> you do these heavy moments like punching and such. Yeah, it, uh, uh, it's a little bit connected to scapula. And... Yes, it, it's connected. It's not really connected. <laughs> yeah, you know, we cannot yes. say that's completely, for example, the chair. So for example, if I put the glue, um, you know, <laughs> and you put the glue uh, and you, you sit on the chair, and you can how that's how much you can move. That's how much scapula can move over the rib cage. Okay, <laughs> that, that that that's a good example. <laughs> so you put your glue, uh, you put glue on chair. You sit on top. So that's how much you can move over your chair. That's how much scapula can move over the rib cage. Okay. Uh, 